bedroom. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Respect your father, sister, and dear friends. We join the Universal Church in keeping the solemnity of Pentecost. And we know that this happens, this solemnity is kept 50 days after the uh, uh, central feast of ours, that is Easter. And today is also, among other things, the day of the birth of the Church. It was after Pentecost, after receiving the Holy Spirit that the apostles began to preach in public and began to baptize uh, members into the church. On this day, we very specially pray for our own branches. Especially, we pray for those who are sick, in particular, sick with the corona. We pray that they may experience the healing of the Lord at this time and they may regain health and be able to pull partners in the life of their families and their society. Now we pause for a moment to call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty so God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Oh 
are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. came 
there. And what was the impact on the spirit? All these people would understand in their own languages what the apostle was preaching. Apostles got the gift of uh, languages of uh, tongues. Very uh, meaningful or uh, uh, the core of the teaching is that uh, Holy Spirit unites people all over the world into one body. That is the power of the Holy Spirit, unity. And that is happening in our midst also, in our communities, in our parishes, in our diocese, and universally. The Holy Spirit is active today in uniting people, keeping them one. Then we also have, um, we also know the power of the Spirit in our own lives. We um, here in the um, First Corinthians chapter 12, we hear uh, what is the what, what is the power of the Holy Spirit in the lives of the Christian community, early Christian community. First of all, in this chapter, Lord teaches us that because of the power of the Spirit, or receiving the power of the Spirit, they receive the gifts of the Spirit. Gifts of the Spirit. What are the Spirit? Uh, the gifts of the Spirit, it is written um, that uh, there are, uh, now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, same Lord. There are varieties of activities, same God who activates all of them in everyone. Each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. Uh, for one, uh, as the body is one and as many members and all the members of the body, though many are one body, so is with Christ. Then uh, St. Paul goes on to uh, teach that someone given the the gift of the service, and God is given the gift of prophecy, and another one is given the gift of uh, charism, charism of healing, and another one given the charism of uh, teaching, and another one to uh, speak in tongues, and another one to interpret the gift of tongues, etc. So each member uh, who receives the Holy Spirit is recipient also of a gift, a charism, each member to be at the service of the body of Christ, uh, the community to which he or she belongs to. This is the gift of the Holy Spirit. And further, we read in uh, Galatians chapter 5, uh, verses 16 to 25, the St. Paul teaches about the fruits of the Spirit. St. Paul says, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Each of us receive when we receive the Holy Spirit. We receive these gifts in our lives. Every Christian, therefore, is a person of joy, of peace, of patience, kindness, of generosity, of faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, and is capable, above all, to love everyone. This is the fruit of the Spirit. Such powerful presence of the Spirit is in the Church today at this time and the assurance is that he, the Spirit will be with us till the end of the world. We are connected through the, the sacrament of confirmation to this great source of power, um, the Holy Spirit uh, in our lives. This is the, the gift of uh, within the Catholic Church, each one of us. On this day, I uh, wish to remind all of us that we, as we have received the Holy Spirit in the Sacrament of Confirmation, we may continue to experience this, uh, this Holy Spirit in our lives. And how do we experience by uh, the gift of unity, the ability to forgive, by uh, activating the uh, uh, charisms, gifts in our lives and the service of others, and also living the force of the Holy Spirit in our lives and in our communities. Let us 
us pray, pray more earnestly to God that He who graciously listened to the pray, prayers and supplications of His beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our loneliness. Let your response be. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. We pray for the Holy Mother Church and all its pastors, the Pope, the bishops, the priests, and the deacons, that the Church may be filled with your Holy Spirit and made courageous witnesses of your Gospel throughout the world. We pray. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. That Mary, whose feast we celebrate tomorrow under the title Mother of the Church, may continue to lead the Church, which was born on Pentecost Day, under her maternal care. We pray. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. We pray for consecrated religious women and men and all lay missionaries that they may be renewed and strengthened by the Holy Spirit to carry out their prophetic mission with courage in the face of difficulties. We pray. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. We pray for the sick and the suffering that they may experience the healing power of the Holy Spirit and be made well to serve you for the rest of their lives. We pray. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. We pray for the dead and those in purgatory, that they may be cleansed of all their sins and be admitted to enjoy eternal peace. We pray. Send forth your Spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. O God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you, and receive the prayers of those who believe in you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bestowed the Holy Spirit today 
on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. The same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of one faith. Therefore, overcome the Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Forever and ever. 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we beg to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, who will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. God deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Now, O oh God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have drunk of my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Safeguard, we pray, the days you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. God be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.